Our first topic today is dealing with impotence problems. To this end, we invited Dr. Kobe Reisman, urologist and sexologist. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you for allowing me to sure, be here. Sure, our honor. Well, today we are talking about a problem that is not pleasant to say. A. It is not pleasant to talk about it to a lot of men, and B. That is also why not many take care of it. But it is important to say, there are solutions to the problem, there are solutions to the problems, and soon we will also talk about a more innovative solution, but let's first do some kind of overview of the most common problems, or the most frequent in this field. The most common problems in the field of sexuality in men is either impotence or premature ejaculation, and we see more and more that there are men who suffer from lack of desire. It used to be thought that men were like rockets always ready to take off. This is not true. Men also have a lack of desire and probably stress, the situation of the corona and all these things did affect that too. But the problem of impotence is very common and depends on what age is. We can say that about 30 to 40 percent of men in general suffer from this problem to a great extent. From what stage should we reach you? From what stage? After a few weeks, months, of problems with sex. If it happens once, we all have problems from time to time. This is normal. But if it repeats itself and takes on something more chronic, we must be aware that the problem of impotence can be a marker for vascular and cardiac problems. And this is a risk factor. This marker means that it may indicate problems in this area, future problems developed as a result. Exactly. Wow, red dot, important, I think I'll remember. Important, important. This is the red light, and we must take care of it because it is not only in terms of the relationship and sexuality and the fun that is completely legitimate, but it also has a problem, there is a very important health marker, and in terms of risk factors it can be compared to smoking. Wow, so much. The last instructions really guide in any such situation of anxiety, to consider, to carry out an expansion of the inquiry, so usually when they come to you, you most likely start or continue the attempts of the family doctors with Viagra, but at some point you move to slightly more significant treatments. Let me expand a little. All the treatments we have to date are symptomatic treatments. This means we treat the phenomenon and not the cause. It's paracetamol for a headache. Now, another problem is that all these treatments are actually taken a little before the activity, half an hour, an hour. The law of spontaneity, you say? Exactly, the spontaneity went. Besides taking a pill or using an injection is being sick. Having sex is being healthy. Something is wrong. And in recent years we started thinking, wait, 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 we treat symptoms, very effective, regardless, but let's try to find how we treat the cause. And that's how a device like Vertica. Come on, if you already mentioned it. I remember to talk about we it. We went into it's the smoking gun, yes. Device. What is he? It's a device called a Vertica. Right. What is he supposed to do? To explain precisely to the audience, I must explain how the erection mechanism actually works. And you should know that both the clitoris and the male genital organ work the same. And it is a very, very special organ. Because in the human body all the organs work differently. Regarding the erection, we must circulate blood at a fast speed, inflate the penile body, and at the same time the amount of blood that comes out should decrease. And it's the only organs that do it. And since we have a few seconds left, Maybe you can say how exactly the device works for this blood vessel effect. Now, we have a sheath, a white sheath, that wraps around the epithelial body, and it ages, and the collagen level decreases. And with this device, we... Treating with radio frequency, with low energy, and it is not related to sexual activity. You should already practice at home, improve your tunic at home. With this improvement, and with the heat it produces, there is also better blood circulation. And it actually causes, what we currently understand from the initial studies, an improvement of the erection. In a gradual and continuous manner, it is not spot on before the activity. Exactly. I think it actually closes the corner, so-called, properly. Know that if you are suffering from these problems, there is a solution, and it is a good solution. And not be ashamed, like you said. Shame shame. Dr. Kobe Reisman, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.